Hey there, if you haven't met each other, nice to meet you. My name is Adityan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So for my third video on YouTube, I thought I would share something that has been incredibly helpful for me over the past month. So before I actually reveal the thing, I'd like to set some context and then eventually reveal the thing. The context is, if you've been watching my previous YouTube videos, I've been talking about how ever since I hit 30s, I've been very deliberate about the direction that my life should take. And for this, I've been thinking about what are the small and large decisions that I can take that will um, efficiently help me walk this path. And those small and large decisions are the key things in my life right now. And I needed a framework to handle those decisions. And I've arrived at a framework slash mental model to take those decisions. And that is what this video is going to be about. Actually, that framework and the mental model is not from me. It's mostly inspired from this book. And I already found it to be incredibly helpful for me over the past few months. And I thought I would share that in the hope that it's also helpful for you. So if you're interested in something like that, hop on. We're going to delve a little more deeper into this mental model. So what is this mental model that I found to be super helpful? Ray Dalio kind of nicely summarizes that in a sentence, and I want to do that here too. So he says, weigh second and third order consequences. He kind of delves a little deeper onto this point in his book. Um, but for the rest of the video, I want to provide my own spin on it and what's my take of it and how it helped me. So that sentence was a little abstract, so let's kind of break it down a little more. Okay, your life is going to be a series of micro and macro decisions that you have to take. And the decision that you take will have a first order consequence, a second order consequence, and a third order consequence. And the outcome in your life is going to be determined by which of these consequences are you going to weigh more. That probably was uh, still very abstract, so let me take a very simple example. Then you set a goal for yourself that, hey, from tomorrow, I want to be healthy, so I'm going to get up morning at 6 a.m. and I'm going to go for a run. Now, um, when that alarm button goes off um, and when it's cozy inside your bed and it's really cold outside and you have to go lace up your shoes, um, you have a decision to make. So you can say, hey, today I'm going to skip and just stay in. Um, the first other consequence of that is that obviously you're going to be much more comfortable. Um, but if you look beyond that, the second order consequence of that is for the rest of the day, you're going to feel a little sluggish, lazy. And if you keep doing this repeatedly over time, you're going to be unhealthy. And that's not your desired outcome. Or for the same decision, you could say, hey, although it's really uncomfortable for me to get up now, although the first order consequence is really uncomfortable, I'm just going to lace up and go. Um, so what happens? The second order consequence is that for the rest of the day, you're going to feel fresh, active. Um, and if you keep doing this repeatedly, you're going to end up healthy which is your desired outcome. So the crucial difference between those two paths are which of those consequences are you weighing more? Are you going to base your decisions on the first order consequence? Are you going to look at the second and third order consequence and then base your decision on that? But the example that I just gave might seem very trivial and almost kind of obvious and stupid to point it out. But I still think this example is very powerful. It's powerful because it kind of shows you what's the default mode of operation inside your brain. Probably for different reasons, your brain kind of um, by default skews the first order consequences more. And you can already probably find many small examples of this, right? Things like food, uh, fitness, indulgences, and things like this. But what's interesting is that uh, this kind of also reflects in the large and big decisions in our life. That's what the book also talks about, which I found to be very interesting. Things like career, relationships, conflicts, um, how do you deal with those things? And most of us, or at least me, um, don't think the big decisions in this context. So the decision that I'm taking, what's the first order consequence, what's the second order consequence, and what's the third order consequence? And ever since I came across this and I've started actively reflecting about it, it's been hugely helpful for me. There were different areas where help was helpful, but I just wanted to give you one example right now. The example that I wanted to give was how do I deal with conflicts? I don't know, maybe it was because of the way I grew up, um, but whenever there was an interpersonal conflict, what I would normally do is that I would try to shut down um, and try to avoid dealing with it. And the first order consequence of that was that it was the low friction path for me. It was the easiest one and that was the most comfortable one. But I realized there was an opportunity. Um, I could have probably resolved the conflict and build trust. And if you keep doing this repeatedly, eventually that's an unhealthy dynamic in a relationship. Instead, what I should have done is probably go head on, um, be uncomfortable at the beginning, but eventually use that as an opportunity to kind of build trust and that'll kind of create a healthy dynamic for the relationship. And once I saw this in this framework, I realized this blind spot of mine, um, it could be with my friends, family, interpersonal relationships, uh, career and things like that. I'm not there yet, but at least this model has 
already given me like a framework to look at myself and understand my own blind spot. And I'm actively doing this for the other things in my life right now, uh, for a career path, things that I should start, things that I should end, things that I should change. Um, and I've already found it to be helpful. And maybe you want to do it too. And I hope maybe it helps you. Maybe with all I just said, um, I made it sound like everyday decision is like a constant struggle. Um, it's not. Uh, the good news is that once you pause, reflect, and start actively weighing the second and third order consequences, it's only going to get easier. For example, if you get up in the morning and get over that initial first order uncomfortableness and keep doing this repeatedly, it's going to get easier and easier to do that. Or the same thing with dealing with conflicts. Once you start weighing more and more the second and third order consequences, your brain kind of learns, adapts, and that becomes your default mode of operation. So that's it. That was the mental model that I found to be helpful. But there's one last thing that I want to leave you with. Sometimes it's easy to figure out what the first order and second order and third order consequences are. For example, eating unhealthy, um, not doing fitness. Um, these are obvious things, right? So you can kind of already internally tell what the consequences are, but there are other decisions or things in life where it's not very apparent or clear. Things like huge career decisions, uh, relationships, um, life in general. Uh, so for this, when things are unclear to me what the consequences are, uh, I found it to be helpful to seek out mentors who have been there and done that so that I don't have to live through and figure out what the consequences are, but rather um, get mentored and advice from people who can kind of guide me um, and kind of tell me what the different consequences are so I can pick it on my own. I've just started this um, and I found it to be already very helpful and I thought I would throw it out there. And the other interesting reflection that I had and I just wanted to share was that maybe it's because I'm older, but I have a newfound respect for religious and cultural institutions. I think what many of these institutions do is kind of codify these tradition principles, right? They already know what the different order consequences are over several hundreds of years. And it's just codified on into maxims saying, do this, do that. Um, obviously, you don't have to take everything at face value, but I found some value in also reflecting about that and seeing which can I borrow from that. So just to sum up, um, try to pause and reflect on what the second and third consequences of the different decisions in your life are. Maybe that will help you uncover blind spot. Um, once you do that, kind of skew the weights towards the second and third consequences. Initially, it's hard, but it gets easier. Or in my case, it was like that. Um, and when you're in doubt about what the second and third consequences are, um, you're unsure or it's unclear to you, uh, reach out to mentors or people who you know are really good at these things. So that's it. Um, I hope it was helpful, maybe. <laughs> uh, if you have some comments or something to discuss, feel free to leave them in the comment. Obviously, a like and a subscribe also helps me produce such content. Um, until then, take care. Adios from Adi. Bye.